Oh, oh, somebody's mirror. Thanks. Which way did it go? What? Uh, copy all. Got it. Thank you. Um, wrong side of the road. No! Well, that's right, armed carjacking suspect. He's been in the Van Nuys area most of the time, making it kind of difficult for the helicopter to keep up with him. Extremely dangerous. Let's get right to that. This driver is driving extremely erratic. For the most part, no black and whites, no uh, law enforcement really behind him, and that is because they're basically in the area trying to give this person a little little bit of room he's on roscoe right now if you know that area those are those hairpin turns right by the airport coming up on balboa now you can see these high speeds these, are, these quick maneuvers back and forth this is a larger car full-size chrysler 300 uh, you know it is kind of a sporty car but uh, but being taken to these types of extremes and whoa up onto the curb oh thank goodness there was nobody at that bus stop uh, this is the type of stuff we've been seeing all afternoon or off the afternoon since we've been over it which has been pretty short before we got it on to live on television this guy armed that's what they're saying now that kind of confirmation we will pick that up later on but as we understand it carjacking again question mark in my voice because we're hearing from another source that this may just be a straight stolen vehicle right now though i can tell you just by looking at it extremely crazy driving out here we've made that turn we're back uh, southbound on balboa uh slowing down a lot of a lot of traffic out here this afternoon if you know somebody that's in the area on the streets give them heads up that this is going on because no lights and sirens behind this crazy driver this afternoon. Uh, in a hurry to hurt somebody, maybe. This is crazy driving. Wiggling. Excellent. Excellent adjective. He is. That car, he's making that thing wiggle. He's hitting those, that steering wheel so hard it just kind of wobbles around. Uh, but he's driving very fast. No regard for any other vehicles. We saw him make contact with one other car, losing a mirror earlier on when he got off of it, Roscoe. He was on the freeway for just a moment. I don't think that there's any kind of plan to this guy's driving. Basically, what this guy is doing right now is just opportunity. He's driving fast, driving reckless. Whenever he sees an opening, he's going to take it. Uh, still working our way southbound on Balboa. Uh, you can see right now, luckily, not that much slowing down. There we go. Some black and white starting to get behind him. Satakoy, the next cross up here. It is extremely busy out here in the valley all the time this afternoon. It is probably more than moderate traffic. Continuing on, though, driving a little bit more conservative, if that's a, a good word right now. But this uh, chase definitely continuing on. At least one black and white behind him. A dangerous suspect. Does he have a gun? Is he armed? You know what? He's dangerous because he's driving reckless with that car this afternoon. Yeah, and Stu, it does sound like he has a weapon. That's the initial call. This came in as a carjacking, an armed suspect behind the wheel of that Chrysler 300 right now, making his way through the San Fernando Valley south on Boa, Balboa right now, going extremely fast. Here he is approaching an intersection with cross traffic, and Stu, looks like he made yep. it through. He made it through, and he gets lucky almost every time. You're really moving along with that car. It, like I said, Chrysler 300, Everybody, it, it's a pretty common vehicle. If it has that V8, it is very powerful. Uh, you know, the law enforcement, they looked at having those cars for their, uh, for their police cars, but they said it's just too torquey, if you can believe that, meaning it has too much power. Uh, right now, though, we're start, we made that westbound turn. We're in the Lake Balboa area. I always get these confused. I'm just being honest. I think we're on Victor, uh, uh, Van Owen right now. No, we're on Victory right now. That's what I always get confused, Victory or Van Owen. But we're definitely westbound. We're over here by the dog park. It's continuing on. White Oak's going to be the next cross. And you can see what I'm talking about. 
he's just using opportunity along side of the road, oh. avoiding a, avoiding another collision right there. And this is what's making it so dangerous. And again, just high speeds this af afternoon, trying to get away from the officers. They have the helicopter overhead. They have one unit behind them. But they, you know, this person dangerous. They need to get this person off the streets. Yeah, you're watching uh, Stu Mundell covering this live pursuit p for us, uh, now making its way through the Van Nuys area as we watch this guy just making some really Northbound. dangerous moves. Wrong side of the road. R wrong side of the road. Got a little squirrely Good right afternoon, there. everyone. If you're just joining us, live coverage on CBS2 and KCAL 9 of a high-speed and very dangerous pursuit right now in the Van Nuys area. He was southbound on the 405, now on surface streets, wrong side of the road, up on the curb at some parts, and just driving extremely dangerous through very heavy traffic. Uh, a lot going on with this pursuit, and as we said, very dangerous. Let's go back up to Stu Mandel. Stu, this guy it seems like he's getting more erratic and, and even more risky. <laughs> More erratic. This is basically what we've been seeing the whole time. I believe we're on White Oak right now. We're going to be northbound on White Oak. We just passed through Van Owen. The next major is probably going to be Sherman Way. You know, there, what can you do? What can the officers do to bring this to an end? They've been trying to do this, kind of just letting it go a little bit, just relaxing, just falling back. Just went Sherman Way right there, but you saw that. It just blew right through that light. No regard. Very very lucky for the public that nobody's been injured. This driver, no regard this afternoon, or that's the way it seems. But uh, it, how are they going to bring this to an end? That's, that's the big question. LAPD coming up to another intersection. You see those brake lights coming on. Uh, hard turn. Oh, boom. There you go. That's another car he hit. Oh, jeez. And, and now you're seeing some, some damage to the front of the car Live right there. We're going to swing right the, now. the helicopter you are around a little bit. Mundell on CBS2 and KCAL 9. This is breaking news coverage of a very dangerous pursuit through the San Fernando Valley off the 405 on surface streets now in Reseda. The vehicle has been involved in at least two accidents. You can see the side mirror there flopping around. He's been up on the curb, wrong side of the road, and just really just wiggling his way through these intersections, just unbelievably dangerous. Let's go up to Stu Mandel. Stu? That's right. You know what? Did you see that accident? I feel bad for those people that, got, that were on the other side of that. Front of the car now, very damaged. You can see that front fender, the driver front fender, just crumpled up. A lot of smoke. Whoa! Oh! You know, it, 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 you just, every time we, we go through those intersections right now at these high speeds, I'm just thinking to myself, please, 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 nobody in that intersection. He's continuing on right now. You can see that car doing what you're saying, wiggling even higher speeds now that he's been in that collision. Parts of the car coming off as he's driving. Tires, they seem to have held through that crash. Coming up on Balboa, we're on Satakoy. <gasps> And through Balboa, and this is in this street right here. There's a big hairpin coming up. He does. He's going to have to make some kind of hard maneuver. Uh, as, and he's keeping up these high speeds. We're going to stay a little bit wider. I'm just hoping that there's no other people that are going to be involved if this comes to a crashing end. There's the turn right there. That's going to be Havenhurst. That's going to be a hard turn. And he's swinging it around on Havenhurst right there. And it continuing on, heading back over towards Sherman Way. So you can see how fast this guy's going. Now the car is dead. Damaged, armed. I, I am. I am just at a loss for words. I couldn't imagine being law enforcement in this situation. What to do to keep the public safe? This person, a complete menace. We've seen several collisions. One, I would call, more than moderate. Coming up on Sherman Way. Uh, just passed. Uh, uh, yeah, we already passed it. Passed Sherman Way, and uh, just continuing on now southbound on Van Owen. Extremely high speeds this afternoon. Yeah, Stu, this is just really difficult to walk. It is making me extremely nervous. It's hard to tell how fast this guy is going because he's just blowing by the traffic out there. Wrong side of the road again. Whoa! Through another intersection and oh, that. No, what no, we were no, afraid no. Of. Oh. <sighs> the car is the car is stopped. Guy is out right. He has a weapon or he has something in his hands. Can't say for sure if that's a gun, but he has definitely something in it. He just put it in his pocket. Could have been a cell phone. But this is what officers have to deal with. Gosh only knows what he had, but he was definitely holding on to it. In his, in his pocket, in his right hand pocket, officers from LAPD coming up on him right there, taking him into custody. A uh, little bit of a struggle. He's down on the ground. We'll find out if that was a weapon or a cell phone, but some scary moments for sure. LAPD, wow. 
Wow, what a what an end for this. Bringing this thing to an end right now. We're going to check on those other those other drivers here in just a moment, but uh, definitely some tense moments right there. It's going to be Van uh, it's going to be Van Owen and Havenhurst is where that last accident happened. Carjacking suspect. All right, yeah, Stu, it looks like the vehicle that was involved in that co collision did not take as much impact as the suspect's vehicle because that's the car that really spun out there and then uh, hit the light pole. Again, uh, the end of a pursuit. This is Van Owen and Havenhurst in Lake Balboa. This guy was driving extremely dangerously through the valley. And quick work by LAPD because as soon as this guy was out, he got about two blocks and they were right on top of him, Stu. You know, and that is law enforcement. This is our LAPD. You know, sometimes they get a bad rap, but they are our LAPD. They protect us out here, and this is what they were doing. They, we've been having all these talks about pursuits and how to handle them. They were in the area. They weren't right behind them. They were ready to pounce when the opportunity presented. It presented, and he, they took this guy into custody. We're going to move Sky 9 around just a little bit here to get a little better shot of that suspect, and then, of course, I want to take a look and make sure that, that those Innocent people that were involved in that collision are okay, uh, but wow, what an ending for sure! LAPD bringing this to an end, and it, you know, hopefully, just minor injuries to some public, but that suspect this afternoon in custody for sure. Yeah, when we were watching this, Stu, it, it was kind of inevitable how this one was going to, going to end. He was just driving with no regard for anybody else on on the streets. Uh, just going extremely fast. You see right there, he was up on the curb and uh, just barreling right through intersections, ignoring all the traffic laws out there. Sometimes he actually made it through the intersection, but unfortunately, this did end with a collision involving another car. You see it right there. Again, this is Van Owen and Havenhurst. This was a suspect who was wanted for carjacking. We do believe that he had a gun, and Stu, you said you saw something in his hand when he was trying to get away there. You know, that is what, uh, you know, we saw something in his hand that was something important enough that he took with him. Was it a cell phone? Was it, you know, gosh, was it his wallet? You know, I couldn't tell, but I did see something in his hand. Of course, we kept hearing that this person was armed, so uh, keeping an eye out for something like that. But this is what our officers have to deal with, too. They're humans. Of course, they're trained for uh, looking out for those types of things a little bit better, probably much better than I. Uh, so he did have something in his hand. We don't know. We haven't heard anything as of yet. I haven't seen any uh, officers with any kind of weapon, but that'll all come out in the, in the wash. But it just shows you how dangerous these things It, it is deadly. It is a deadly situation if you, if you are in a situation <laughs> presented like that where they believe you're armed and then you have something in your hand. It may just compounds over and over. Our guys in blue this afternoon really handled it well, took him into custody, and now he's cuffed right there. I'm going to take a look at the car and see how it looks, but you can see the numbers of officers that were in the area when this, uh, when this pursuit came to an end. There's what's left of that car. Uh, a crashing end, very dramatic for sure. Uh, ho hopefully no civilians were injured in this whole disaster that happened out here this afternoon. Yeah, as you said, great work by the LAPD. You can see one of those officers pat another one on the back there. At the end of this pursuit, it ended with a crash at an intersection in the Lake Balboa area. Another vehicle involved. There you see the suspect's vehicle. Of course, we will have the very latest on what happened here and what happened to the people in those the other cars that were involved. And that's coming up on our CBS 2 News at 5 and on KCAL 9 News at 4 o'clock. We'll see you in less than an hour. Oh, 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 somebody's mirror. Thanks. Which way did it go? What? Uh, copy all. Got it. Thank you. Um, wrong side of the road. No! Well, that's right, armed carjacking suspect. He's been in the Van Nuys area most of the time, making it kind of difficult for the helicopter to keep up with him. Extremely dangerous. Let's get right to that. This driver is driving extremely erratic for the most part, no black and whites, no uh, law enforcement really behind him, and that is because they're basically 
in the area trying to give this person a little little bit of room. He's on Roscoe right now. If you know that area, those are those hairpin turns right by the airport coming up on Balboa. Now you can see these high speeds, these, these quick maneuvers back and forth. This is a larger car, full-size Chrysler 300. Uh, you know, it is kind of a sporty car, but, uh, but being taken to these types of extremes, and whoa, up onto the curb. Oh, thank goodness there was nobody at that bus stop. Uh, this is the type of stuff we've been seeing all afternoon or off the afternoon since we've been over it, which has been pretty short before we got it on to live on television. This guy armed. That's what they're saying. Now, that kind of confirmation, we will pick that up later on. But as we understand it, carjacking, again, question mark in my voice, because we're hearing from another source that this may just be a straight stolen vehicle. Right now, though, I can tell you, just by looking at it, extremely crazy driving out here. We've made that turn. We're back uh, southbound on Balboa, uh, slowing down a lot of a lot of traffic out here this afternoon. If you know somebody that's in the area on the streets, give them heads up that this is going on because no lights and sirens behind this crazy driver this afternoon. Uh, in a hurry to hurt somebody, maybe. This is crazy driving. Wiggling. Excellent. Excellent adjective. He is. That car, he's making that thing wiggle. He's hitting those, that steering wheel so hard it just kind of wobbles around. Uh, but he's driving very fast. No regard for any other vehicles. We saw him make contact with one other car, losing a mirror earlier on when he got off of it. Roscoe. He was on the freeway for just a moment. I don't think that there's any kind of plan to this guy's driving. Basically, what this guy is doing right now is just opportunity. He's driving fast, driving reckless. Whenever he sees an opening, he's going to take it. Uh, still working our way southbound on Balboa. Uh, you can see right now, luckily, not that much slowing down. There we go. Some black and white starting to get behind him. Satakoy, the next cross up here. It is extremely busy out here in the valley all the time this afternoon. It is probably more than moderate traffic. Continuing on, though, driving a little bit more conservative, if that's a, a good word right now. But this uh, chase definitely continuing on. At least one black and white behind him. A dangerous suspect. Does he have a gun? Is he armed? You know what? He's dangerous because he's driving reckless with that car this afternoon. Yeah, and Stu, it does sound like he has a weapon. That's the initial call. This came in as a carjacking, an armed suspect behind the wheel of that Chrysler 300 right now, making his way through the San Fernando Valley, south on Balboa right now, going extremely fast. Here he